Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman, the channel that brings you DIY gear, backpacking adventures, camping adventures, and all around outdoor adventures. If you like that sort of thing, think about sticking around for this video. So today, we are stealth camping because the campsite we're going to doesn't open up until April 30th is when they start signing it out. You're not allowed to park down at the boat launch overnight until April 30th, and that's how you get the parking permit and the camping permit for this campsite we're going to. But right now, I'm at a trailhead, left a note, and now I'm scooting down to the boat launch. It's all downhill from here. Hashtag scooter squad. So we're cheating today. We got a motor. <laughs> we're cruising today. That's where we came from, right? there-ish. We're going a mile upstream, fighting the current to a campsite. Stealth camping, baby, yeah! You wanna see our setup? Well, our canoe setup, check this out. There's my scoot scoop. Then we got all of our gear covered with a tarp. You can barely see Jay on the other side of it. <laughs> There's his hands. This is beautiful. We got, we got rain expected for the rest of today into tonight and early morning but then it's supposed to be a nice weekend. By nice, I mean in the 40s and 30s overnight. So it's gonna dip down, it's gonna be cold. It snowed this morning, guys, it snowed. I was all excited and then it, it, it disappeared. But now we're camping, so <laughs> it's all better. I am getting covered in water. Look at my glasses, they're covered in water. I guess I'll catch up with you guys when we get to camp. As soon as we get there, I'm not going to show you around. We're going to set up tarps and stuff, and then I'll show you around. Jay just pointed that out. The snow on the mountain right there. Oh, there it is, right there. Wish we were up there. All right, guys. It's 4 o'clock. Our camp is set up. We are set up. Right, Jay? Right. Camp set up. Let me show you guys. So right here is our community tarp. We will be sitting underneath there, right next to the fire pit. And then here's my set up i have a new tarp i will be showing you guys this in another video it's made by deer fammy i kind of like the, the deer there kind of cool nice green color green is my favorite color nice light weight we're expecting more rain today so we'll test this out and i got my instant a-frame tent if you haven't seen me use this tent in a video yet Check out my Buried in a Snowstorm video. I'll leave a link to it, right? Um, I think right here or right here. Check that out. It's pretty cool. So in here will go my Ozark Trail Instant Fold Cot. That's over there. It's drying off because we, we use that to hold our gear off the bottom of the, the canoe. So I got this all set up. And then here's Jay's new hot tent. His daughter bought it for him for Father's Day. Father's Day early Father's Day present. It is, I don't even know how you'd pronounce that, Flatum. Flatum? Yeah, we'll go with that. But it's really small. It's perfect for backpacking in. He's using my nature hike cot again, but without the longer legs. It's just got a regular tarp on the ground. He doesn't know how waterproof it is. So instead of risking it, he put a tarp up. There's the sun coming out a little bit. So now, now that our stealth campsite is set up, in the words of Camping with Steve, it's time for step two. <laughs> that was kind of cool. All right, guys. If you got them, crack them open. Cheers. Ooh. Cold? That's cold. <laughs> That's a good step two. Cheers, guys. And cheers to camping with Steve. Cheers, Steve. This is our second stealth camping trip. Now, we're not somewhere where you're not allowed to camp. As you can see, there's a fire pit right there. We are just not allowed to camp here now. The campground's currently closed. So as you saw earlier, I parked at a trailhead and then I went back to the boat launch and we came a mile up, mile up river. It's kind of bright behind me. There we go, that, that's a little better. So yeah, now we're chilling. We're gonna make dinner in a couple hours. What do we got? Chicken? Fajitas. Chicken fajitas. Chicken vaginas. Cheers. I'll see you guys in a little while. We got to get some firewood. Yeah, we do. Oh, this trip is full of new gear. I have tons of new gear, including this shirt. There it is. Joe Robinette shirt. Awesome. I, it just came in the mail today. The mailman dropped it off before I started packing for this trip. Couldn't have been better timing. 
I'll get back to you guys when we get firewood because I got a couple new toys for the firewood. So to continue with the camping with Steve vibe, I have a battery operated chainsaw. Look at this little thing, it's so cute. <laughs> First time using it, we're gonna find out how it works. Jay, you wanna come see this? Oh, hold on, we're gonna wait for Jay. Watch this. <laughs> oh, so, so dinky. I bought it from AliExpress. I think it was like 35 bucks. I'll, I'll say how much it was right here. Here's Jay, so let's find out. There we go. I don't know what that was, but. Maybe overheating. Maybe. It, it's working. I'm halfway through it. I'm, I'm doing that now. I'm just going to a little bit at a time. <laughs> Almost took you out. That worked. Yeah. I mean, I'm not tired whatsoever either. <laughs> That's nice hardwood. So that, that was a good test for this. It works. Let's see how long it will last. That's one cut. And that wood's about four inches, three and a half, four inches. Nice solid hardwood though. Let's find some more. I also bought a silky big boy. Let's try this out. guys are two feet from that tree <laughs> oh man that was close that was close this eats wood this is awesome let's find some more wood this is the bottom of that piece I just pushed down seems pretty dry This one too. How's that work? Good. I cut this one down. Then you see the other one down there, the, the thicker dead one. Oh shit. It's cracking. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm recording. Oh, nice. Oh, it broke in half. This saw's like nice. Dude, you, I, that was 30 seconds. You went through that like butter. It was like seven inch on the base. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> 
<laughs> Woo! That, that's, that will burn like crazy. It's punky and rotten, but that will burn. Oh, it did it. <laughs> Jay, you cut it right here. Yep. <laughs> it broke right there. That's funny. That's... <laughs> Right down my back. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I did it again. I gotta get one. I love this thing. <laughs> Literally cut so quick. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Boom. Done. Butter. How do you like the saw, Jay? I love it. <laughs> the saw is awesome. That's a silky big boy? That's what it says, big boy on it? Yep. Big boy. Big boy. Because we're big boys. Just playing in the woods, like big boys do. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> wow. You're like a kid with a new toy, Jay. Now we're going to see how many cuts I can get out of a battery. I only did one cut, so let's see with some smaller wood. That's a little annoying. It like shuts itself off. It really does beat cutting it by hand, though. I mean, honestly, it's lasting. Oh, shit, Jay. Captain Morgan and Pepsi. Should have told me. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I figured it was that time. At least for one. Punk? You didn't tell me. So I'm actually surprised at how long this battery lasts. That was five cuts. And something this size is more what it's made for. It's not meant for anything bigger. But that was, when I say five cuts so far, five cuts. Not bad. Eight. Eight cuts. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know, I think that's like either 25 or 26 cuts. Let's, uh, let's really test it and see, see what it can cut through. Let's go with the big one over here. This is the end of the log. It's a good seven, eight inches. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause right here and tighten up the blade. I'll be back with you in a minute. Always disconnect your battery first. Just like any chainsaw, it has a bar nut and then a chain tensioner screw right there, right there. And it came with a little screwdriver and a little wrench. You loosen the bar nut first, tighten that screw, tighten your bar nut again. And we're back at it. Same battery as before. Bah. Okay, swap out the battery. I might have killed it. I might, oh. I might have killed it. That is a battery. I mean, it was new. Oh, you, did you need to charge the battery? No, I did. Oh, okay. Up, oh, up. Oh. We're back in business. <laughs> I'll get back to you. I'm going to let it cool down. All right, this is cooled down enough, I think. Ah, I can show you how much I've cut through so far. Right there. It's time for the big boy. Done. This was fun, but this is better. <laughs> I think I will invest in a better one, 
a bigger one, maybe DeWalt brand, because it's perfect for something like this, a canoe, nice easy canoe trip with a motor. <laughs> Let's get a fire going. Brought some fat wood from home. Just gonna light this on fire and throw a bunch of sticks on top. Jake, while I was cutting through that big log with the mini chainsaw, Jay cut up all of these, well, broke up all these sticks. And all these sticks. <laughs> it's all pretty wet. Hopefully that fat wood dries it out. All right, fire, check. All right, guys, it's about 9.30. We got chicken fajitas cooking up for dinner. They're gonna be so good. I've had a few beers. I'm feeling awfully tipsy. Tipsy is a good word, yeah. Fire is going strong. Very strong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these fajitas smell so good. Can't wait. We got, we got cheese, lettuce, and salsa. Cheese, lettuce, and salsa. All right, guys, fajitas are made. We got the chicken. Oh, there's cheese underneath the chicken, too. Yeah. And lettuce and salsa. How is it, Jay? Oh, it's good. Yeah. First bite, guys. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's all dripping. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> the chicken is just Tyson frozen chicken strips. It works good. Nice and easy. Add some water to the powder. Let it boil. Done. That was a big bite. We got distracted with some drinks in the fire. Ended up being 930 by the time we got down. Yeah, it does have a kick to it. Yeah, a little bit. By the time we sat down to eat dinner. Well, we're going to enjoy dinner. Chicken fajitas. I made three of them right off the bat. I wasn't waiting to <laughs> get back up and make some more. We were probably going to have some more drinks and head to bed. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Cheers. It's 11.30. We are heading to bed. It's all sorts of dust flying around in here. We got a... Uh, Nice relaxing day ahead of us tomorrow. Gonna cook up some bacon, egg, and cheese bagel sandwiches. Everything bagels, of course. And some burgers for dinner. I'll get back with you guys in the morning. You have a good night. Thanks for watching. All right, two people just showed up in a boat. I don't know why they're here, but they're definitely heading our way. Let me see if I can show you. Sure. Saving the boat right there, they're coming.